Stevie's Happy Fury Friday in the dark because that's just the way that it is now with uh, with it being this time of year. I will say though that after this cold spell that we've had, it was warm today. It was very warm today, and it's still pretty warm. Like I don't have I don't have the liner in the old mesh jacket anymore. It is Friday, and once again, I cannot believe how fast the week went. How was your day? It was good. It was a good one. So it is dark. I am on the Fury. Obviously, you guys can tell, but Miss Stevie's on her 2020 Harley Davidson Deluxe. That has over 6,000 miles on it now. She got it in April. It is now September. I'm pretty proud of me. Yeah, you should be. But so we're, uh, it's Fury Friday though, it's not Deluxe Friday. So no, it's not. Today we're going to give you five reasons why you should buy a Honda Fury. We've given you the reasons why we like it. We've given you reasons why we don't like it. They're really old videos, but they get watched a lot, so they're horrible videos. But anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna give you the five reasons why you should buy the Honda Fury because people ask us a lot if they should buy one, and our answer is really yes. I mean, that's kind of it. Yes, you should buy one. So now we're gonna give you five reasons why you should buy one. And I'll give you the first one right now. If you wanna look like you've got a bad to the bone motorcycle, then this is the motorcycle that you should buy. And if you want people to come up to you every single place you park at a bike event and say, wow, what is that? Then you need to get you a Honda Fury. So true. Now you give us a reason. You already took it. <laughs> no, we'll give us another reason. Actually, I guess my reason is other than the looks, because that's what what got me looking at it was the looks. It's so light. It is such a light bike to pick up and move around, and it doesn't make you feel like like I mean. And I'm not trying to put down Harley at all, but Harleys are heavy bikes. And that's intimidating when you're first riding. And the Honda Fury is just so easy to ride and it's light. So that just makes it even easier because when you're learning how to ride it, if anything goes wrong, you just put your feet down. Well, me anyway. You should probably pull in the clutch and stop first. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm, I am going to go on record and say we do not condone you just putting your feet down at 100 miles an hour. No, no that's not what I meant. Okay. I meant, yeah. True. <laughs> I'm just saying it's just a light bike. There you go. And it's it's easy to maneuver. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like it's an intimidating bike. Very true. I agree with all of those things. Okay, so number three, I'm going to say it's the price. You can buy these used for, I mean, under $6,000. You can find them for $5,000. I'm not going to say all day long, but you can find them for $5,000. They're going to be a little bit higher mileage and they're going to be a little bit older, but guess what? They haven't changed much on them. So, I mean, this is a 2011. And if you know Furies, you know that each year they came out with a different paint scheme and that was the only color you could get. So if you know Furies, you know which year they are. When you buy one of these for a really good price, you're not gonna wanna get rid of it in three months or four months or five months. Okay, so number four, that's you. Oh gosh. You, you didn't tell me we were doing this, so I'm I not know. ready. I know. I like it better like this when you don't know <laughs> what we're going to do. Um, I guess I would have to say number four would be I like the way that I can change things on it. Just little things. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to do it. Oh, that's a very good point. So, like, um, 
parts are cheaper. Right. But like, and lights, I mean, we, we put blinkers on it, different blinkers and stuff. It's cheaper to accessorize than a Harley Davidson. I do have one mirror now. You do? <laughs> yeah, just one. It's that goofy chrome one, but it's it's a mirror at Stop. least. Right here you want me to stay good. back here? That's a fire department, so hopefully there's no fires. You want me to stay here? I saw it, dude. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Oh, she's lighting it up, too. Oh, look at this. Shameless plug for Blacktop Devil. A Blacktop Devil sticker covering up a scratch. That's what <laughs> that's doing. So this is our 2011 Honda Fury. It's got... I don't even know what size it is. It's got a big front wheel. It's got a big back wheel. It's got a wide back wheel. We've customized the back end. Moved some stuff around. Freedom Performance exhaust on it. And some stuff has been painted black from stock before we got it. The foot controls were on it before we got it. The hand controls were on it before we got it. The grips. We changed the front headlight to an LED headlight. Put these blinkers on. And the original tail light was all the way across the back fender. We didn't like that. So we put in, we put on these blinkers and stuff. And I mean, just, it looks, it was cool and it was easy to do and it was fun to do. And it's just an all around really, really fun bike. It is a fun bike. It is. Okay. And we've got a bag on the front. That came with it too, but that bag is really handy. Put stuff in, my phone's in there right now. Okay. Number five, I'm going to say, is that you have the backing and the reliability of a Honda. Of a what? Of a, <laughs> a Honda. <laughs> I thought you said a hump. I'm like, where are you going That with wasn't this? even close to what I said. <laughs> Yes, you have the reliability of a Honda, and if any of you watch Boots and Jeans Riders, you will know that Rich has a Honda Goldwing with over 100,000 miles on it. I mean, not that I'm putting Honda down at all, because I'm not. Nope. I'm just saying that you can't just, I mean, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the Honda Fury, you can't just look at it and say, hey, that's a Honda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how many times have we been at a Harley event or something like that with either one of us riding it and people come up and say, whoa, what is that? I fell in love with the it's way my, it looks. It's my hog. Goodness. What? You. It's my hog. This is a vroom vroom stick. Ooh, I like that. It is beautiful out here tonight. It is. I don't want to go home. But yeah, I, I agree with uh, what you said. It's not it does it's not your your traditional Honda. When you think of a Honda, you think of a sport right. bike or you think of a Goldwing. You don't think of this. You know. It's just a really good looking bike. It is. Well, uh, maneuverability, that's a big thing. I mean, it it it's a long bike, but it doesn't ride like a long bike. <laughs> Now, are we going to do a video for five reasons why you shouldn't buy a Honda Fury? We might in the future, but right now, I honestly can tell you, I cannot think of five reasons not to buy this bike. <laughs> Miss Stevie, when she's on this bike, I mean, it's like somebody <laughs> opened the floodgate and let the dogs out, right? <laughs> when she gets on that bike, she's just sitting back and knitting a scarf. <laughs> So yeah, those are the, the five reasons why we think you should buy a Honda Fury. That's not the only five reasons in the world. That's not everybody's five reasons. That's just uh, somebody, you know, some people who have owned one for a couple years now and ride it quite a bit. You know what? What? I think it's your turn to sign us out. Ready, no, set, go. I don't think so. Ready, set, go. to be put on the spot. I'm not putting you on the spot. Whenever you're you ready, are. whenever you're ready, sign this out. But do it quick. Like, right now. <laughs> no pressure, but do it now! Everybody, right if you now. like, Everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we'll see you on the road.